who were some of your early mentors and role models who gave you the confidence and encouragement to make you want to pursue a career path in Karnataka and potentially with the Indian women's team? Just like any other Indian, right? So I played a lot of cricket on the streets um, since when I was probably seven or eight years old. So all I did was just play cricket on the streets with the boys. I think I happened to be in the right place at the right time all through my career so far. I lived on the same street as uh, Smita Hari Krishnan, who's a former India player. I lived on the same street as her and she happened to look at me playing with the boys and she mentioned that there is women's cricket. Would you be interested? This was when I was nine years old or so. So she introduced me to a formal coaching kind of, uh, there was just one coaching camp, which was a non-profit really. It was some of the girls, uh, some of the former players, senior players, just conducting a camp and trying to get in as many cricketers as women cricketers, girls cricket as, as much as possible. So she introduced me into that cricket camp, maybe when I was nine or 10 years old. But the real turning point was in, when I was 12 or 13, today, even she, he's my coach, even till today, I still call him up for many things, is Irfan Seed. He took over Karnataka women's team in 20, I, I can't remember the year, but when I was probably a 12 or 13 years. And that was the turning point for all of us cricketers in that era, I should say that he provided us so much opportunities to develop. He treated us as his uh, own daughters and gave us equal opportunities, be it boys or the girls. We had the facilities open 24 by seven from morning till night with everything, like we had bowling machines, we had balls available when we won. We, we had bowlers when available. There were hours together that he spent with us trying to develop us as cricketers that we are today. I definitely say that was the biggest turning point. Having met Irfan sir, and we still call him as our uh, father of uh, father of Karnataka women's team just because he literally treated us as his daughters. So that was definitely the turning point. Uh, like you mentioned, definitely a lot of my initial years before BCCI took over women's cricket, all of the tournaments that I played was from my own pocket. So everything that we played, all state cricket, anything over after the state cricket was industry and zonal cricket, everything was out of my pocket. So I definitely have to thank my parents being able to support me through it, right? I mean, they didn't see the future. They didn't see a career out of it, but they were still able to support me through it. If I'm playing all age group levels under 16, under 19 and seniors, that's a lot of money going out. And I was not the only uh, daughter. I also have a brother. So they had to take care of both of us. So definitely I have to thank them that they stick to it. They saw that I was interested in it and they pushed me towards it. Definitely a lot. And once BCCI took over, it was a different story. So once BCCI took over, things changed overnight, I should say. We had flight tickets to go through. We had three stars or five star hotels that we were staying in and we were we had we were sharing rooms with two other person before that we stayed in schools in dormitories and uh, we had tournaments during summer vacation so the school rooms were our you know uh, dormitories that we stayed with so overnight things changed once bcci took over so i was part of this both i was playing before bcci and post bcci so i have seen the growth as well and that's how i feel i'm seeing the growth over here in the us because I saw the growth in India, moved over before I could actually bear the fruits of that. I moved over here and then I'm actually now seeing how cricket is developing in the U.S. It's the same circle that I'm going through here in the U.S. Made your debut as a 16-year-old, list day mm -hmm. debut, as I said. That was against Delhi. The match was in Chennai. It was a quarterfinal in the Indian Women's Domestic Tournament, list day tournament. The scorecard I got in front of me says you scored 52 in a losing effort. Delhi won by 70 runs, but you scored a half century. You mentioned growing up on the same street as an Indian international, but in the Karnataka squads that you played with, you were also surrounded by other players, Mamata Mabin and Veda Krishnamurti and Tirush Kamani. There were a number of players that you got a chance to be around who were Indian internationals very early in your career while still a teenager. But as a 16-year-old on debut, what do you remember about that day? I really don't think that was my debut because I think we don't have scorecards from the beginning of when I actually started playing. <laughs> this is this is one of the issues, Sindhu. This is why I, I've taken great pains to try and track stuff in U.S. women's cricket because I've seen the evidence, the lack yeah. of evidence. Some of the stuff, the, the record keeping, the historical documentation 
it's just not there and this frustrates the hell out of me sindhu <laughs> yeah uh definitely not because i had my first i played my under 16 i should say when i was 10 years old which was in 98 98 or 90 uh 99 uh, so and i probably played the seniors in 2000 sometimes so um that wasn't uh the debut but i definitely don't remember the game that you're talking about in this so uh, so all right so if you weren't 16 when you made your senior team debut how old do you think you were do you remember i definitely remember the game i remember the debut game it was in trivandrum kerala it was against andhra pradesh uh, now hyderabad you can say but andhra pradesh it was in 2001 or 2 i think i didn't do anything in the game other than just fielding for 50 overs and i was so enthusiastic the whole 50 overs that uh, i was running all through uh, the entire 50 overs and i had one run out i remember which got just that one run out got me and another game for the next game that i played was just because i think the captain then mamta meben thought that i was so good on the field as a fielder that she said that i had to be um, definitely rewarded with another game and I got another game the next uh, day. So I was probably only 13 or even less. Can't even remember. Mom to Maven, a longtime teammate of yours in the Karnataka setup, who played for India. And then you left out Diana David, who was another player who went through the scorecards, who played for India and mentioned Veda Krishnamurti and Tirish Kamani. I want to go to, you mentioned playing against Pakistan for India under 21s. So that was in. October 2005. Maybe that's why Cricket Archive has got your first listed scorecard as February 2005. Because when you make it to the India women under 21s, then they start to pay attention a little bit more and try and keep mm. a little bit better record of what you're doing in yeah. terms of your batting and wicket keeping and all that other stuff. I want to fast forward to your best years, as far as I can tell, going through the, the, the archives on a Cricket Archive. We're in that 2007 to 2009 time frame when you would have been 18, 19 years old. That's when you scored your, let's say, hundreds. Your first one for Karnataka, you scored 115 not out, and you were part of a 271-run partnership with Karuna Jane in a victory over the Andhra Pradesh women. This was in September 2007. What do you remember about that match? Your maiden list, a hundred. It was in Anandpur, a very good grounds. Uh, I don't know if we can pull that up, but it's it's a very good grounds at that time. Um, remember, that was the first, uh, that was the best ground turf wicket that we were playing in the South Zone. I remember, I think I walked in as in the first over. I was walking as number three. I can't believe, I think it was the first over itself because Vanita VR, who was the other, uh, who is also a former India Now player, um, I think got out for a duck, if I'm right. Oh, okay, I do remember. Okay, she was run out. She was run out. Oh, so in, okay. a, in a match where two, your, her two teammates scored centuries, she's run out for a duck. Yeah. Poor girl. I feel for her now. I think she actually came back and did some running for me because I had cramps and she came back and did some running for me. I, I, I really feel for her now. But Karuna Jain and I have had plenty of partnerships. Um, Karuna Jain, as we all know, is a former India player as well, a former India keeper. And it, it so happened that we both were in the same team for the state. And of course, we were sharing keeping opportunities as well, keeping duties for Karnataka. So Karuna and I have had uh, many partnerships. Uh, one of this, this was this, and definitely um, not my first hundred again. Sorry, Peter, to <laughs> spoil your fun there. But uh, definitely. Fake news. Um, I'm, I'm the king of fake news in American cricket. You should know <laughs> no, that's, that's not that, that's not on you, really. It's really not on you. I think it's. <laughs> Even if I want to go back and look into my score cards today, I don't think I will get it. But nevertheless, at least we have this. It was probably very hot as what I can remember. So, uh, but we, we got we to gotta set the record straight here. So, Crick Info and Cricket Archive, they've only got you as scoring two list A hundreds. You're saying that's a lie. No, I have, uh, I think, two more. One in the under, I don't know if under 19 falls into the category. Does it list? No, the under 19 doesn't count. This is just senior senior level matches. Okay, and then they, they should be right. Yeah. So we got something right. Yeah, yeah. But I have clock is right yeah. twice a day. <laughs> yeah, but debut is definitely not right. But yeah, I'll take the, yeah, this one. But 
I guess it was a, a great partnership uh, since what you're saying, it's 200 plus and it's how many years back now? It's 2007, you said? Yep. Yeah, uh, too, too many years back for me to remember. It almost feels like another life for me, uh, what I've played in India to what I've done here. So yeah, too many years back. <laughs> September 12th, 2007. It's just a, a week later, Yuvraj hit his six sixes against Stuart Broad. So. Oh, I actually remember that, watching that. I was sleeping through it. And Veda Krishnamurti was my team, uh, was my roommate. And I, right after the tournament, and we were in Anantapur, and she woke me up. And I, I actually screamed at her when she woke me up, like, why are you waking me? And she's like, six, six, you have to watch this now. And this is Veda Krishnamurti. And, and Veda Krishnamurti and I shared rooms for many years. Uh, so yeah, was, I do remember that, six, six, six. <laughs> 